Hello and welcome to a new episode of my Ultima 4 series. So here we are, we are in you. This is once again going to be one of those without, um, without uh, game sound, unfortunately, but it will, will be the last one. So taking a look at our map, you can see that in the dark forest there, in the northwestern quadrant, we are still in the town of you. We uh, investigated all the people and all of the uh, buildings, and now we're going to do some more investigation of the surrounding area inside the town. We see there's lots of heavy, heavy trees here, and uh, who knows what kind of secrets that uh, they may be keeping from our you know, curious, curious eyes. So let's take a look at the, the stats. You can see that I've rested up a little bit. Uh, I, I hold up in camp, so we were now back to full health. Um, and um, let's see what we got here. You can see I'm still at level two. Uh, I think my experience, when it gets to 300, I'll be level three. So I'm at 255 right now. So once that hits 300, I will be at level three. Likewise, I Olo is already at level three. He's a little bit ahead of me. So when he reaches you know, the 400s, he should be level four. I'm doing pretty good on daggers. I, if, I feel like I'm going through them like crazy, but every time I check, I've got quite a few left. So I still got 38 daggers out of the 50 that I bought. Actually, 39 because I have one clenched in my hot little fist. No armor, still only the one torch. I still need to find a place to get that. My reagents haven't changed. We haven't found any place to sell them. So... Uh, uh, and I've got uh, uh, eight fireball, four magic missiles, and I've got one blink spell. And that's an interesting spell. It, it's supposed to, if we want to, like, go south for a ways, it's supposed to take us a great distance in that direction. So next time we're going uh, somewhere like that, we'll have to give that a try and see how we like it and see what it does for us. Okay, but let's uh, we'll start to the north here. And, oh, look at this. Okay, so we've got kind of this narrow band at the very outside, and they seem to have a moat going on here. So it's it's kind of slow progress because it is through these these oak trees or these you know the dark forest or, uh, that that is surrounding the town. And we'll just look through here uh, and see if there is anything to see. I don't know if there will be out here, but you never know. So you, it pays in this game to uh, to be checking. Now there's a guy right there on the other side of the bank, so we'll have to go find him later. Um, We'll do the outside, and then we'll look through the inner area. So we'll come back for you, good sir. Stay right there. Do not move. And we'll continue our circumference of the of the uh, moat area here. And uh, see if there's anything to be seen. Oh, we've got some sort of a little area here. And looky, look there. We find a druid. And his name is Calumny. He's solemn. Ooh, okay. What is your job here? I make spells, he says. All right, what type of spells? I do happen, good sir, to be a mage. And he says he invented quickness. Cast thou cast it? Well, I can cast anything because I'm that good of a mage. So yes, it requires but one blood moss, it says. So okay, so that's interesting. I, this is not a spell that's been on my radar. Looking at my spell book, what it does is it enables... It enables um, you know, two turns for every one turn. So I could attack twice on every turn, say. So it might be nice if we got some really, really big baddies that we're dealing with. Uh, the spell book, though, says um, it needs um, sulfurous ash, ginseng, and blood moss, and you need twice the blood moss. Um, double portion for movement is a critical aspect of the spell. So I'm kind of curious, why does he say it requires but one blood moss? But can you tell me anything about that? He cannot tell us anything about that. All right. Um, no, he can't even help us with reagents in general. So you, sir, have been moderately. I guess we got the, the, the bonus of, oh, we got to meet the, the author of a spell. I'm so excited. We're coming around. Oh, look, there is a, there is a, um, a bridge here that goes to the inner part so that's kind of nice so we don't have to go all the way back uh to the beginning and this yeah this is just taking us back into town there's the healers and and all that and uh yeah we are on the inside now so um yep yep okay so we will uh, come back to this i want to uh continue our moving around the outside of the town i want to make sure i don't miss you know you know whoever invented fireball or something you know <laughs> That could be important. Uh, if nothing else, I would like to thank them for all the times that that has saved my buttocks. 
Um, so we'll move along here. We're across the, the bottom, the southern portion of the city, and then we'll move our way back up north here. And, and we're going to come to the city gates here soon. And there we are. Okay, so we've explored explored the, the outer parts of the molt, moat. So we'll explore the inner, and we right, right away find some people. So let's talk to this sleek ranger who has no name beyond ranger. So what is it that you do here? Oh, no, first got to ask again. Make sure I'm a ranger. Um, what is your object or maybe your job? I search for a home. This is sounding familiar. Uh, oh, dude, tell me about your home on the range. Yeah, we saw it. We saw that last time. We don't need to go back through all that, that mess again. All right. So we have some druids. We have a chanting druid whose name is silent. And then he goes bad, bad, which doesn't really sound, um, silent. I keep wanting to say that. I, I feel like saying that like, like a sheep, you know, bad, bad. Uh, let's talk. Uh, they got they got something on the spit. I can't. There's nothing here to search. Let's talk to Jana. Okay, so she's got a name that could be important. Um, so quiet druid. So what is it you do? She strives to understand justice. Okay, that's cool. Justice, true justice satisfies all. False justice, apparently none, which makes sense. Which makes sense. Although. If, False justice might uh, satisfy some, but she has nothing to say about true or injustice. That's all she says. Uh, she's got a name. Let's ask her to join us. Thou art not experienced enough for me to join thee. Okay, so interesting. This is a potential companion, but at my measly level two, um, she she doesn't. I'm not. I, I am not nearly uh, advanced enough advanced enough for her to uh, join our party. So I will have to uh, make a note of her, get her name, Jana. Okay, I'm going to make a note of that so that we can come back at some other point and, um, and uh, get her to join our, get her to join our team, become part of our merry little band. Okay, so we're going to leave uh, her and let's talk to this last druid that's here by the fire and uh, another chanting druid. All right, what's your name, good sir? Another I am silent. Okay. All right. I don't know that I have anything. And the job is to go bah, bah, like a goat. <laughs> that's how it is in my brain. Sorry. I don't think that's what he's really supposed to be, but that's 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 how I, I think it. Okay. Good enough. We're going to leave these guys and continue on. And there's that one guy that we saw up here, and there he is. Let's talk to this druid. Another female druid. Sorry. I am druid. Uh, okay. I'm guessing if I ask you your name, it's going to be I am druid again. And I am correct. Okay. What's your job? Seek justice. Learn at the shrine. The shrine is to the east and north. Okay. So that's good information. Dost thou have the rune? Uh, no, we don't. Ask Talfort, for he knows of the rune. Oh, Talfort. I know that name. <laughs> I just don't remember which of these many guys we talked to last time uh, is Talfort. All right. All right. Well, I mean, at least we now know that we can get the rune here. That's that's an important piece. Uh, but you can't tell me who Talfort is. Oh, great. So I got to talk to everybody again and figure out who Talfort is. I'm just kind of, I think this is only too deep, but I'm just kind of going back and forth between the water and the wall to make sure. So we're going around the side. There's Columni, whatever his name was, that, that invented the spell, the, who lies about the number of reagents. So here we are back in town. I'd like to go through this druid, but she's in the way and not moving right now. But we can go around on the other side. We saw that. We saw that just now. So we'll go around and just make sure I didn't miss anything when I was down here before. Um, go along the edge of the building here and go north. There's that bridge. Yeah, I'll just step across and just make sure this is Columni again. And yes, it is. All right. We don't need to talk to him anymore. We've already, we've already confirmed that I am where I think I am here. So let's just uh, go back. Down around the bottom here. Yeah, 
And here we are under the other shop. Aha, here's another druid. Uh, but I'm guessing she might have the same tree. Yeah, okay, I seek justice and learn the shrine. Yeah, yeah, we already know it's to the east and then north, northeast from here. Let's, uh, it doesn't know anything about the mantra. We were told that a druid had the mantra, but none of these druids I talked to seem to have the mantra. So I'm, 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 uh, I don't quite know what to make of that. Okay, so here we are back at the beginning. This is the wise druid. What is your name? This. Oh, yeah, that's right. This guy's whoop, <laughs> the guy that needs to buy a vowel. Um, uh, okay, so I'm looking for Talford here. Sleek Ranger. I don't think this person had a name. Yep. Okay, bye. Um, what about you? These are going to be Wandering Druid. Probably doesn't have a name. Just I am Druid. Okay, yeah. Okay, no thank you. What about you? These are probably the pin rods or something. Yep, there's one of the pin rods. Um, it's not going to be one of the one of the guards. And this is another druid, unnamed druid. All right. What about these people here in the Hall of Justice? So another wandering druid of no name other than I'm a capital D druid. What about this guy? Oh, gosh, here he is. All right, Talford. Tell me about the rune. It is hidden well. Oh, goody, goody. Can thou honestly claim to be guilty of no crime ever? Well, you know, if I'm honest, I'd probably say no. So let's go for honesty. Then do thy penance in a cell, and with the felon search ye well. Ooh, okay. I think we know where the felon lives. We fought him, <laughs> and then he escaped. Oh, but we've either caught the same guy or um, or somebody else has taken over the cell. So let's just try not to talk to him, and maybe we don't have to fight him. And I'm just going to search. It's only four areas. And, of course, he's standing on the ruin. The ruin, not the ruin. All right. Thank you for finally moving. And we found the ruin of justice. Kapla. Okay, so we've got the ruin, and uh, now we need to go find the shrine. Um, and, uh, and then, um, once we find out about the mantra, cause we still don't know how to, how to find out about that, then, um, then we'll be all set. So I'm just kind of checking around. I want to talk to Talford. And what did he say? He doesn't know anything about the mantra. I mean, that's the piece we need. Uh, we know the general location of the shrine. We have the rune. We need the mantra because we need that to pray at the shrine. We're so close to having all the pieces for our first shrine. Okay, so it's east then north or northeast here. So we're, I'm going to kind of head in that direction here and see what we can find. All right, we came across some water. And uh, I'm not quite sure... Where we're at, of course, there's orcs. Ooh, one of these guys. Yeah. Uh, I, maybe we'll try to take him out. Uh, and and um, I tried to throw a dagger at him, and I missed. And But Iolo's um, hit him, and he's... Oh, he's dead. Excellent. So we got him We got him killed between the two of us. So now we've got this guy here that's coming up. Iolo's going to... Miss him. I'm just going to wait until he gets closer because there's no sense throwing daggers at these guys, as I've said many times before. He's barely wounded now, so um, he's still barely wounded. So I'm not going to have at you with the dagger. And um, he's barely wounded, so I, I scored a little bit. Graze his cheek. Um, try to give him the dagger. Now he's lightly wounded. This guy must have some really, really tough skin. Okay, so now Iolo's got him heavily wounded, and I killed him. Excellent. All right, let's open that chest and see what we get. 18 gold. Guy was a little light in the pocket, I got to say. Oh, now we got some brigands or rogues, I think they're called. Yeah, rogues. All right, so let's uh, let's take this guy out. It's two against one. I like those odds, except when we miss. I'm going to wait on the dagger. I'm going to let Iolo go with the sling. I probably ought to get myself a sling. That way we could both be doing this. And... Uh, Without, you know, because things have got uh, unlimited ammo. Okay, so he's heavily wounded now. Uh, he's in my face now, so I can... I mean, he's right in front of me. I missed him, seriously. 
All right. So Iolo, get him with the sling. Iolo, he's trying to find a rock right now. I think he doesn't know. He ran out. He's got to bend down. He, he emptied what he had in his pockets. All right, here we go. And, oh, now he's fleeing. Okay, but he's still right in front of me, so I get a turn, so now I can stab at him, and I missed again. Jeez, okay, but Iolo was able to kill him. All right, let's get our reward here. And uh, slight damage to Iolo, but 17 gold. I guess that's okay. So now we got these these rogues to deal with. These guys, like, go in packs. All right, so let's take care of this first guy. Oh, one hit, and he's fleeing. Wow. He's he's a uh, he's he's a bit of a pansy that guy. All right, second guy we we haven't really uh, been able to hit yet. Oh, and then that one was killed. And is this the first guy coming back for more? I've noticed this sometimes. If if they start to flee, but there's more battle going on, they're kind of like get their second win and like I gotta, you know, he's got to go avenge his buddy now that we killed him. So then they come back in and the, and then now he's in the full run away run away mode. So get out of here. He's taking the long way around, I will tell you that, for somebody that's fleeing. All right, there we go. So, let's, ooh, 90 gold. That was a nice chest, and no trap on it. All right, so uh, this water is, I'm not quite sure exactly where we are. So let's uh, let's take a, a, a look at the map. And if we look at the map and, and, and project our course a little bit uh, northeast of you there, uh, we've got that one section of land that looks like an upside down boot. And I have a feeling that we are um, not quite there. We're on the on the coast um, there on the on the I guess that would be the western coast there just above the W and U. I think it's where is where we are at. Uh, and so I'm guessing that the shrine is probably going to be somewhere in the boot. So, you know, we got a ton of orcs we got to deal with, but I'm thinking that's probably where we want to go. Um, but uh, first, we're going to have to fight our way there. Okay, here we go. So, oh, we got the guys. I don't like these guys in the in the helmets because they can do diagonal attacks now in this case that's not a problem he's he's lining up with us very nicely so we can kick his buttocks i'm gonna uh, waste a few daggers on this guy get him a dagger in the face well i probably just graze his cheek there he's only lightly wounded um and now iolo missed and now i got him with a dagger he's heavily wounded all right Um, and he's still heavily wounded, and I'm going to throw another dagger at him, and he's dead. Okay, cool. So now we just got the regular orc to deal with. These guys are nothing. Um, we'll just wait for him to come down here. Iolo can get him. He's already heavily wounded. I stab at him with the dagger, and he's fleeing. Um, all right, so I'm not going to... I'm going to hold on my daggers. We'll let Iolo maybe see if he can take him out, and he does! Victory! So we get, how much do we get out of this? Ooh, we evaded an acid trap and we got 30 gold. So we're, we're getting a nice cache of gold there. We've got 554 gold right now. So we need to get around. Okay, we ended up back at you. So yeah, I, I you know, we need to get down around this water, I think is what we have to do. There's it, one thing the map doesn't really show us very well are some of these little tributaries. Oh my gosh, more of these guys? Uh, these little tributaries and things, and so we got to work our way around them. But first, we have to fight these things because they'll just follow us until we take care of them. So we just got to kind of you know grit our teeth and and get their blood on our blade, if you will. So he's already heavily wounded, and I keep missing with my dagger, like I'm some drunken sot. You know, I don't know what my problem is. He's right in front of me, slothering down my neck, slobbering down my neck, and I can't hit him with my dagger. So. Okay, so now he's fleeing, but let's see if Iolo, he missed that time. Yeah, I'm not going to throw anything at him. He's in the wrong spot, but all right. Come on, Iolo. Can you take him out? He missed. All right, he got him. Good. So we get that, um, and we get 47 gold, and then we are immediately attacked by the rogue. And once again, nice two, two versus one odds for us. I'm liking those odds. Uh, oh, I didn't really necessarily mean to throw a dagger at him. And I missed. 
to boot. But okay, let's, let's get past this guy. I'm tired of these people being in my way and slowing us down. So I'm willing to spend a few daggers in that in that cause. I think, but uh, he's getting closer now, so I will wait. Uh, okay, so now he's fleeing, and we'll see if Iolo can finish him off with the sling. Yeah, I do need to get myself a sling. This would be very handy if we could both have slings. It would make some of these battles go a little bit faster when they're fleeing. So next time we are out of town that's got a sling, I will have to uh, have to do that. Okay, so we have that water. Oh, what's this? I think I'm totally lost. I think I'm totally lost here. Uh, I'm not necessarily where I need to be. So let's take a look at the map. Oh, yeah, I, I went off in a totally wrong direction. If you look above the Y in U there, uh, there's, it looks like a couple of bridges that you can see there. And that's where I'm standing right now. So we need to go, for some reason I was heading west, we need to go east. And we need to get up into the boot is what we really need to do. So that's just my bad there um, as, far as, as far as how that's going to work. So... Let's uh, let's get moving easterly fashion, and then we'll follow the water down south. <sighs> Golly, oh, what is that thing? Okay, that that thing is getting a fireball uh, as soon as we can clear a path to it. Uh, yeah, he's throwing rocks. I remember this guy. I fought him once before. He was a pain in the butt. So uh, I don't want. Okay, so now the way's clear. Iolo, can you? He missed. All right. So I didn't want to throw the dagger. Oh. All right, well, he's barely wounded. I wanted to cast a spell. That's what I wanted to do. Can you... Are you still barely wounded? All right. Cast fireball in your face. Boom. Gone. Beautiful. Experience eight. Very good. It was an Etten. Okay. I can never remember what those things are called. They look very strange. I don't think I want to see what they look like in real life. The uh, the 1980s graphics version of it is, is kind of scary enough. All right. All right. Got the, those guys out of our way. Let's see what we got. 18 gold. And we and he evaded an acid trap. That's really good. All right, so let's go south a little bit because we got these tendrils of water. Oh, there's you again. Okay. Um, all right, so we need to go around this, I think, and, and then head north. We're going to have more orcs. Yep, there they are to deal with because I saw at least two. So let's take care of this. Ooh, three of them. All right, let's start taking them out. I mean, at this point, killing orcs, even the guy with the helmet is is kind of old hat. Uh, we need to get that, you know. Yeah, we got to do it. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a dagger because he's strong enough that, uh, but then I miss. Ugh. And uh, Iolo hit him and he's fleeing now. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. So we just got this last guy to deal with. and um, And then we'll be done. Okay. I'm gonna not. I'm not going to 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 throw a dagger at him. I don't think. Okay. Well, let's just get done. I I want to get to. I want to find this friend. Oh, he's the 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 other guy is firing now. He's getting a second wind, but he's still fleeing. It looks like. So, I guess he just thought he might take pot shots. But now now he can see the tide has turned because his other buddy is fleeing, as well. So there we go. We are done. Uh, and we have victory, and we get 23 gold. All right. I'm sure that other orc I saw earlier is going to pop up here and make us fight him pretty darn quick. But let's let's continue up north. Uh, what was that in the water? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't want to know. So let's get away from it. All right, so there's our shrine. I'm pretty darn sure that's the shrine. But what concerns me is the marshland around it. That can poison us. and. I don't have any cure spells right now. So until we can get back to Magencia and get some cure spells on there, uh, there, uh, I don't want to risk it because I don't think there was a healer back at you. Uh, and even if there was, you know, I don't, I'm not hundred percent certain we get back before one of us died or both of us, we both got poisoned. So yeah, I don't think I want to risk it. Now, now that is the extreme, um, Tip of the boot there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we've found the Shrine of Honesty. It wouldn't even really be worth it for us at this point to go visit it and risk getting poisoned by the marshland because uh, we don't have the mantra yet. We have to figure out you know, where to find the mantra from the druids. None of the druids we talked to back in you wanted to. So let's kind of get back down. 
out of there. And um, you know, tell you what, let's let's take a minute and look at the map. So I've marked the Shrine of Justice on the map there, close to where it is. Was so is actually at the toe of that boot there we see sticking up from the uh, the label that I've placed upon the map. Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to come down out of the boot and pass you and let's try to find that moon gate there that's um, between you and Empath Abbey. Because that was actually the thing I thought we'd get to first and then we stumbled onto you. So let's um, let's uh, head in that direction. I think that'll be a good thing to do because then I do want to get back to uh, to Magentia uh, or Moonglow. And, uh, and get some more reagents. All right, so, oh, look, more orcs. Oh, geez, man, these guys breed like bunny rabbits, I tell you. All right, so we're going to have to take both these guys out. Okay, nice two-on-one odds here. We'll kind of wait for him to, to get to where we can lay the smack down upon his little orky butt. There we go. Thank you for moving into position. Get him, Iolo. Heavily wounded. Nice. Nice. So I'm going to conserve my daggers. And um, now he's fleeing. But we're, you know, we're never one to just let him flee. If we're still lined up for a shot, of course, Iolo's now this like, he's like slacking and not, uh, oh, I finally got him. Man, he almost escaped. So let's get our gold here. Open up, Iolo. 94. Nice. And he evaded the acid trap. Very good. Um, Okay, another two-on-one combination. I I'm liking the odds that the game has given us right now. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. So I'm just going to stay here behind the rocks, but that gives me the opportunity. I know he's fleeing already. Ugh, I was hoping to do a little stabby-stab on him, but he's fleeing. So, But he doesn't get to flee. This cowardly orc. We kill him anyway. So we got 30 gold out of that one. Very nice. Not trapped. Even better. And, oh, beautiful. This is all I could ask for. We're lined up perfectly, and it's only one orc, <laughs> and he's fleeing. Man, some of these orcs are just like, dude, don't hit me. Don't hit me, bro. Bro, don't hit me. All right, what are we getting this for this guy? 90 gold. Iolo takes a small hit in health, but not too bad. Okay, so here's you. So we know that the um, that the gate is to the northwest, and okay, I was just thinking, it's got to be in a clearing. There's got to be a clearing for the moon gate. So it looks to me like where we want to go, the moon is mostly full. So, uh, and I'm, but I'm not sure which moon it is. So we're just going to wait here for a bit. The moon cycles don't seem to take very long. Um, and we'll see, we'll see when we get a moon gate popping up and what the phases of the moon currently are. I haven't learned all the, the names of the faces, you know, gibbous and waiting gibbous. Oh, here we go. So that the one on the left looks like it's mostly full. So this might take us where we want to go. Nope, it did not. Uh, I think that's uh, Yeholm. Let's take a peek and see. Let's let's enter the town and see. Yes, it is Yeholm. I, I I know I'm saying that wrong. Probably I don't really know how to make a J H sound. Let's see. So this was the um, the town of Valor, and we're in the Valerian Isles. As you know, I've marked it on the map here. But I think there was a companion here, so we need to look at that. So we're here at Yeh Home. We might as well look and see what there is. So let's just kind of look and see what we got here. So we got healing. We do need some healing, but I think we can just hole up and camp. Uh, I think that's because it's pretty expensive. All right, so here we have armor and weapons. So let's see what we can get. I've got Iolo in in um, leather right now. Maybe we can upgrade him. So chain mail, plate mail, magic chain. Ooh, and magic plate. Excellent. Excellent. So, let's start with chain mail. 600 gold pieces. Holy cow, that's a lot. I don't think I want to spend that much. We've only got 881 gold. We can't even afford magic chain. So, it's got to be probably over 1,000 gold to, to get magic chain. I wonder if as a magic user, could I use magic chain and magic plate? That'd be nice to get some armor on me because I'm just wearing my, my, my mage robes, which... Don't have much in the way. All right, let's see what they have for weaponry. I'd love to be able to get some more daggers. And uh, and maybe a sling. I said I'd, I'd get a sling. So let's see what it is, good sir. Willard, you have to sell. Axes, swords, crossbows, halberds. Hmm. I am kind of kind of interested in you know, an axe could be good or a crossbow. The axes are 225 gold pieces. Ooh, 
Wow. Yeah, this is not a, you know, this is not the Walmart of uh, of 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 uh, you know weapons and armor here. You know, and maybe maybe this is the top of the line stuff. Maybe this is like the you know dwarven armor and weaponry that's you know renowned throughout the land kind of thing. And so they're you know you're getting the top shelf goods, so you can pay the top shelf prices. I don't know. Um, so what do we have here? We have the inn and the pub. So at the pub, we could buy food, and the inn, of course, is for staying over. And what's uh, what's in here? It's probably just the rooms for the inn. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Okay. Let's look around a little bit more. Um, there's supposed to be somebody here that could be a companion. And um, maybe we can find somebody that we didn't talk to before. I'm pretty sure we would have talked to everybody here in town, wouldn't we? I would think that that's the case. Um, I, am, I am curious what these guards are guarding there. I don't know. It's It's curious to say. Well, actually, you know, here we are. I, I think maybe we're over the 30-minute mark. It might just be time rather than delving deeper into uh, you and try to find our Yehom. I cannot keep this stuff straight. Um, into Yehom and see what's going on there. Um, maybe we should uh, I'll, I'll bring this episode to a close and we'll look around here in a little bit more depth next time. So I do hope you come back for the next episode, which will actually have all the beeps and boops for you to enjoy and uh, i will be back soon so we can continue our adventures in the land of britannia thanks for listening and watching and until next time be seeing you <laughs>